parents at one Middle Tennessee middle school say there's a major bullying problem. A seventh grader at the school died by suicide Friday. And now the sheriff's office is investigating the boy's cell phone and laptop for signs of harassment. I spoke to a mother with a daughter at Stewart County Middle School who says the administration has to do something about this now. 13-year-old Samuel Manning's tragic death by suicide sent shockwaves through Stewart County Middle School. We need to remove the fact that not necessarily that they're children, but they have a voice and their voice needs to be heard. This concerned parent did not want to reveal her name or face, fearful of backlash. But her daughter also goes to Stewart County Middle School and says that her classmates regularly bully her too. Someone came up to her because she has short hair and used a, a gay slur against her. And she did report it and nothing changed. But I know that there are other parents and their kids that have it worse than, than mine, for sure. She says that the bullying stems from the same group of students in each grade, and she wants administrators to do more. We will talk to them or we will handle it. But when the same thing happens the next day, they obviously did not handle it. Director of Schools Mike Craig calls Manning's death a worse nightmare, and the school community is grieving. He says that bully prevention efforts start as early as kindergarten in Stewart County. Students sign a social contract in a new program called Capturing Kids' Hearts. Employees receive suicide prevention and anti-discrimination training. Every school has an SRO, and bullying is investigated fully. Still, this parent tells me she has considered homeschooling her child in order to keep her safe. I think these kids that are continually getting away with it are going to grow up and be bullies in their adult lives. I, I think absolutely 100% that's going to happen if they keep on allowing them to get away with it. Well, the director of schools tells me that the student's death has shaken the school community. They provided grief counselors to the students this week. Now, in our 5 o'clock newscast, I asked this concerned mother one change she wants to see happen.